And later, Sean, how is it feeling? Well, it uh, certainly does feel a little uncomfortable right now. And as you're talking about the heat advisory and the excessive heat warning, if you have to be outside, you might want to hit one of the splash pads that's in and around your area, like here at Wolcott Park in West Hartford. Now, we just stepped outside of the storm tracker right here, and the uh, temperature says 75 degrees already, and it has been uh, rising. It will be hot and humid and could feel like 100 degrees in certain parts uh, around the state. With that said, we want to make sure that you are uh, ready for the heat and you stay safe. The weather can take its toll on young children, also elderly folks, so make sure you check on family and friends. Uh, it can also affect your breathing, so if you have to be outdoors, do not overdo it. Air quality will likely be subpar. Also, if you have to be out in this heat, make sure you find some shade uh, and avoid that direct sun Line for an extended period of time. Also, try not to do anything strenuous early uh, uh, in the day. Make sure you do something early in the morning or later on in the evening. Also, drink plenty of water. Matt was talking about it. Make sure that water is cold and also light, loose fitting clothing. Also, if you do not have access to uh, an air conditioner or a cool place to stay, Matt was talking about it. Dial 2 one one can't stress it enough that will give you uh, some of the cooling centers in and around the state of Connecticut. Also, uh, you can visit our website at fox61.com or grab your smartphone, grab our Fox 61 News app and you can punch it in and see where the closest cooling center is for you. But the storm tracker is out and it is showing hot, hot, hot. We hope that you stay cool, cool, cool on this uh, Tuesday here, a late Tuesday in August. We are live in West Hartford this morning. Sean Pergano, Fox 61 News. Sean, thank you very much. All right, well, wow, what an improvement we have in Norwalk now. Just a couple minutes ago, I showed you that accident on the northbound side of 95, right at exit 15. Quite a